bazaar. <laughs> We've been reunited with Spencer. I drove four hours across the state. This is, I've had a five hour energy and now a monster. We're gonna go slay some reds and trout, right? That's exactly what we're gonna do. That's exactly what we're doing. What we're doing. We don't have a choice. All right, I am throwing a Guggen Squad Hound right here. This is a little top water. I, we just found Spencer, I have a theory that with it being really overcast, I have a bone colored top water and I think it's almost gonna blend into the sky a little too much and that throwing it a black top water might really really contrast well. We'll see. Or I might just get smoked by Spencer who's throwing a like white colored top water. So <laughs> more like El Trout. <laughs> right next to the boat. I'm telling you, dude, making that switch to a twitch bait, two fish in about eight casts, says something. All right, I'm gonna try a very, very finesse tactic here. This is a bait made by Catch Co. called a Shimmer Shad, and it's meant for dead rigging and drop shot. Spencer athlete fishes for trout and redfish and snook a lot using Ned rigs and has a lot of luck on them, especially on cold days. This might be money. Oh, I had a fish on. I did not even realize that. No. Lizard. Dude, that's a baby trout. Oh my gosh, that is a baby trout. I just assumed that was, that was 100% the smallest trout I've ever seen. New PB. <laughs> New boy. PB. So that tells me that this bait could work. Or do I go total opposite and throw something huge and see if I can catch that giant trout? See, that's my problem when I like catch a fish doing something finesse. I'm like, well, I got a small one finesse. So maybe if I throw something enormous, I'll catch a big fish. Spencer and I were fishing brutal, brutal conditions. And we we're doing everything we could to get away from the wind and try to find some good trout and red fish. But it wasn't going super well. <laughs> so freaking cold and we're so underdressed. Spencer's in the back of the boat doing push-ups right now. Let's try to get warm. Hey, real quick, today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they're online subscription. Send the box full of lures to your house every single month. I've been using it for a very long time. It's an awesome product for new fishermen or experience. It helps you find new lures to try out. And in this video, all the lures I use are lures I've gotten out of my Mystery Tackle Box. I'll leave a link down below where you can pick yours up and try it out. Seriously, couldn't recommend it enough. There's saltwater boxes, freshwater boxes, anything that you need, go get on it. Also, make sure you go and check out Spencer's channel, who I'm fishing with in this video, Get Lipped. He is an awesome dude. Him and I have already become really quick, great friends, and he's an incredible, incredible filmer, and he makes some really cool videos. He actually has done production work for television shows on outdoor channels and stuff like that, so definitely go check him out, man. Where's the fish? That's actually a good fish. That's actually a good fish. That's a red, I think. Oh my gosh. Dude, all day has been miserably hard. That's a red. That is not a bad red. Holy crap. I'm like in disbelief right now because it has been such a slow day of fishing. Dude, he's diving right under the boat. I mean, he went straight down the boat. Dude. Dude, he's just digging under the boat. Get out. Nice. Get out of there. I don't like this at all. <laughs> you see how bent over my rod is? This is horrible. Good one, man. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Lord. Oh, man. You wanna go to landing or want me to try to grab him? Oh my 
God. Dude. <sighs> Dude. Oh, All day. Okay. Bias my next swim right there. Probably a nice little 19 inch red. A beautiful, beautiful ham bone. It has been a horribly, horribly long day with not a lot of fish, and that guy kind of just came in and saved our day. Oh, so beautiful. Awesome. Yes. I cannot describe to you how much of a blessing that is. We have been fishing our nuts off out here. And that's like the first good fish all day. And I've been up since 2 a.m. Brain is fried. Oh. All right, look at this spread right here. These are the two baits we start off with, both out of my mystery tackle box. Actually, this is a Savager Gill Reaper. I'm really excited to try to switch bit out, and this is some type of really nice soft plastic that looks beautiful. Will be really great in this natural grass clear water. We're gonna catch a giant. Oh, there's the fish. Little Troutsky. Beautiful. Right there on the twitch bait. We'll just surf him in. Very little Troutsky. Oh. <laughs> A better trout right there. I was a slow rolling swimmer. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, you on too? Yep. Dude, you might. Oh. Little guy? I got your little brother. Tied on this pretty dope jig head I got out of my mystery tackle box. It's like a weedless swim bait head that I think is gonna be perfect for rolling through these grass flats. The water clarity is insane, dude. Oh my gosh. Trout sitting right here. Oh. Oh, yes. yeah. oh, 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 he had the whole thing yeah. right in his mouth. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. That, thing was... that was so cool. Sight testing straw. And it's in like ice water, dude. Oh, I still see him right here. Well, that's like on his head. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah, that one's gone. Not super often you get to try to sight cast trout. They're normally like invisible. Yes. Which makes it doubly cool. Wrong, wrong, oh, he's on it. Wow, wow. I got a nice trout just tailing. Literally. Oh man, he's a good fish. He wants it so bad. Oh. He's seeing us now. That is insane. He's still looking kind of like he's oh dude that is crazy my you know my cast haven't hit him in the ass and said i might have hit him in the face mm -hmm. he might have eaten it yeah he might have probably so considering he turned in a complete 180 and i see one right here too oh yes that's like the world's crappiest eat i've ever seen in my life like he was like came up and like Gave it a kiss, smooched it on the lips, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, what, what, is, what is this? He like literally was like, like, Hi, nice to see ya. Like, didn't even eat it. He just like, yeah. And he, <sighs> he did the eat. Tough break there. He, he, that, that was literally maybe the laziest eat I've ever seen on a fish in my entire life. There's a fish. Oh man. It has been a moment since I have actually hooked into a fish. It feels good, even if it's a squirt. So easy. There 
There he is. Down deep. Nice. That might be a uh, yeah, nice trout. Keep your head down, brother. Look at that fish. So beautiful. So beautiful. Beautiful trout right there. Probably, what do you think, like 16 inches, 17? Yeah, yeah definitely. This water is just so unreal. Beautiful. Makes the fishing a lot tougher because the fish can obviously see everything really well. But it's just like looking into like a glass portrait and looking down at fish. We've seen so many trout, so many reds, a suspicious lack of snook, but it's been good. Spencer and I had a tough couple of sessions, but we still managed to smack a ridiculous amount of trout and a decent redfish all in the process. And really, it's just all about enjoying the water and catching some fish.